Yeah, I'm a little bit low on engineers, but it's okay. I'd rather be low on engineers for now than on scientists. We'll get engineers. I can always buy them from the black market. Not that I have the supplies for it at the moment. I really need to get 150 supplies ASAP to pick up Vulture. Yeah, if, if I had five people here or laser weapons, this would be so much easier. But yeah, I just don't see this happening with four people. Not against enemies with like 70, 75 aim and eight health. To ask That's too much for ballistic weapons and for people to handle. Position confirmed. It kind of sucks because I could really use the supplies from this. And the corpses. The corpses are the most important part. It's a shame you can't just grab the corpse and leave. Good copy. Moving on target. Solid copy. Oh, it's on a hostile patrol. Okay. On the move. Confirmed. I'm on it. Scamming. I think the only way to do this would be a double ambush. So basically the first ambush from stealth and the second ambush while waiting for enemies to move into me. Which is kind of doable with scouting protocol. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay, I have to kill this whole group in like one turn max. Rolling. Moving out. Can you take a shot? Well, he can stand here, which is not great. Or, okay, down here. That's better. Okay, that actually kind of works. Who has the best chance to hit? 88. 100, okay. And 100. It might actually be best to take this 88 shot. He can also ignore armor. At least one armor. There are a lot of enemies in here, so saving grenades might be a good idea. Okay, let's take a shot at the sectoid here. Nice. Seven critical damage. Yep, that's what I needed. Let's go. Let's go. Got the sectoid. And got the trooper. And we hit the stun lancer. Nice. He's at free health. And he's backing up. Okay, that's fine. He will join another pod. Okay, so this is a good start. This is an actual good start. Now I need to trigger like one group without the triggering everything else. What's over there? Good to go. Now I need to take advantage of scouting protocol. It's what I need. Let's, go. Let's reload first. Now I need an overwatch ambush basically. That's what I need. Heading out. Okay, here's a hidden man. Okay, then let's see if we can make this work. Perhaps it might work. On my way. Heading out. I'll oh, get some. Heads up. Got movement. Come on, me, bro. Here they come. All right, make it a good one, please. We got the trooper. Big deal. Okay, that's two pods. Good. This is the important part here. This is the tricky part. 
It might be best to back up and overwatch because they will have to come up here. They can't really do much otherwise. So, back up and overwatch. I think that's the best solution. Make them come forward. I don't like this Hitman having 75 aim. Okay, well, I can shoot him. If I stay here, I'll probably get flanked. But I do have two shots. And actually, I kind of don't. I could try to stun him. Okay, we can move into full cover and try to stun him. Maybe try to stun the Frost Lancer. Uh, no line of sight. Okay, let's try to stun him. Got it, nice. Uh, how much stat bloating is there in late game enemies in Long War of the Chosen? Uh, there are enemies with... Okay, no, let me uh, back up a little. Uh, with a bunch of uh, dark events with permanent stat upgrades, you can have enemies with over 100 aim in the late game, some specific ones. I don't remember the names, but there were a few enemies in the late game with like 95, 105 aim. There was like a shock trooper or something like that. Uh, there were a bunch. But this is with a few dark events uh, that give them upgraded stats. Because there are two types of dark events in Long War of the Chosen. There are like the regular dark events, like in a regular game. And there are dark events that aren't really meant to be countered, but represent advanced progression and give them by various stat upgrades. So they can get more dodge, more aim, more defense, things like that. So with a bunch of aim upgrades, you can have enemies with over 100 aim. It can get rough. It's not a lot of them, just a few types. Yeah, there are limits. Thank God. So you're not going to see like 150 or something. As far as I'm aware. Uh, okay, uh, let me think about this here. So we know there's a stun lancer there. Which probably means I want to back up. I think back up and overwatch is the best move. Force them to come to us. Yeah, there's the Floss Lancer. He will try to charge me. Okay, we have to kill him here. Come on. Kill him. Come on, people. Got him. Nice. And one Overwatch left. Okay, this is looking good. Now we can kill the Hitman. Hopefully. And that's the idea. Okay, three more damage. Any full cover around here? Not really. Got him, nice. Thousands go. Yes, thousands to go. And let's grab this load. Focus PCS, okay. Overwatch. There's still one dude active. He might go join another pod. Uh, okay. Wait, you can do this from the other side of the map? That's kind of cheating. What the actual fuck? Okay, what in the actual fuck? Come on, man. Okay, that's actually some bullshit right there. <laughs> that's actually some bullshit right there. Fortunately, they don't explode when you kill them, like the Warlock ones. At least not immediately. Yeah, I don't know if he will keep doing that or what. Absolutely. I hope not. On my way. I still need a good Overwatch trap. Okay, here comes the Gunner. 
60 aim and up to 7 damage. So this gunner can kill any of my group members in one shot, potentially. If I get excombed, he could actually kill any single member of this group in one single shot. If I get excombed. So he needs to go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, he needs to go. If I don't want to get excombed. Which obviously I don't. He doesn't have a lot of aim, but you know, that doesn't mean much. That doesn't actually mean a whole lot if he hits you. I can't flank him, sadly. 98% on the zombie. Only the best. I might actually flashbang him or something, I don't know. If I can hit him for free damage at least, I could use combat protocol to finish the job. Oh, you could try flush. And then he might move, like, down there. Out of my line of sight entirely. Yeah, I really don't like that guy. What's over there? 46%. Yeah, Flash could make him move completely outside of my line of sight. So if I'm going to do this, it makes sense to take a shot with somebody else first. Now, technically, okay, one thing I can do, if he stays in my line of sight, I could use combat protocol with both Rocky and Clorf, because they both have it. And that would do 4 damage, and I would kill him that way. So, that's a possibility. And we didn't even hit. Yep, you didn't get it. I noticed. Well, shit. So much for that plan. I can still take a shot from back here, I suppose. Alright, well, if this hits for more than 2 damage, I can still use combat protocol. No, it won't. Great. Great. I think I'm gonna flashbang him. I'm actually going to flashbang him. There's no way I'm going to risk this guy one-shotting somebody. Don't get me wrong, he could still do it. Okay, no, he won't. Not this time, asshole. Here comes uh, the necromancer. And another Salatid. Man, th these things have ridiculous movement range. They actually have a ridiculous movement range. Yeah, this kind of sucks. Not happy about this. Kill that stupid thing, thank you. Got it. Okay, we still got this stupid gunner. Okay, I'm thinking. Let's try to shoot the gunner here. If I can hit him, I can still finish him off with combat protocol. Nope. That's the third shot on him that missed, I think. That's the third shot that missed. Yes, yeah, so, grenade. Unfortunately, I can't hit both him and the sector, which is unfortunate. But oh well. It do be like that sometimes. Alright, I'm not gonna risk doing two damage. No shot. We can actually hit both him and the necromancer with the AP grenade. So, I'll take it. Grenade out. I'm not getting that loot anymore, but that's fine. There, now we can actually kill him. Of course, it was minimum damage. But in this case, minimum damage is good enough. And stay down, asshole. Alright, and okay, this is the actual last pod. Pretty annoying one, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you are your own medic. I still got a bunch of grenades. 
I can technically still get this loot. Nah. Okay, we need to deal with this pod. The Pathfinder Hunter has 70 aim, which is kind of a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. I need to lower this Necromancer to the high ground here. So I think it's best if I back up and overwatch. Not a problem. Let's heal ourselves. Actually, not a problem. maybe not yet. Is it clear? <laughs> no, it's not clear. Green to go. Moving to Overwatch. Okay. Uh, these are all the remaining enemies now. I need the necromancer to come to me. Nope, he will use the zombie again. Okay. Can't say I'm happy about this. Good to go. Got it. Overwatch. On Overwatch. The medic will probably heal the sectoid. That's going to happen. I don't think it can really prevent it from happening. Probably not. Here comes something. Okay, we killed it. Oh, we killed the Pathfinder Hunter. Nice. That was probably the next most dangerous enemy here because of his armor. And because of his aim. Yep, the Necromancer will get healed. But the hard part is done. Wait, what? No, he didn't get healed. He got smoke. Man, he's just going to spam this stupid zombie crap. It's so annoying. I hate it. I should have reloaded first. There you go. He will just keep spamming that forever. Okay, well, we can kill the trooper. By the numbers. There you go. I need them to come up here. That's what I need. Rock and roll. I'm on it. Come on. I know you want to. Oh, piss off! He's moving. He did not jump up. Oh, guess what? Another zombie. Actually, no. He used some chill crap on me. Okay, 65%. Not terrible. Nobody else will be able to hit him, though. And it's a miss. Of course it's a miss. Well, shit. I guess I just have to move myself. And it's another miss. Man, how many times am I going to miss in this mission? Uh, don't answer that question, thanks. There we go. Didn't quite kill him, though. It's a graze. But I'll take it. Yeah, he will heal himself because he's an asshole. I'm under fire. I can flank him if I move a bit closer. Can we finish this yet? That would be really appreciated. I'm ready. There we go, got him. And stay down, asshole. Alright, I can flank the medic, but then I'll be flanked myself. Surely we wouldn't miss to twice from the high ground, right? Surely that would not happen. <laughs> Wait, do we still have combat protocol? 
In yes, we do. We do. Not that I can do free damage with it. Absolutely. Okay, this is 100%. And of course, it was minimum damage. But now I can use command protocol. Wait, can I? Uh, actually, no, I can't. I can use a grenade. No, yeah, I can use command protocol. But I like how that was two to six damage and we did two damage. We've done the mission. It was rough. It was rough. <laughs> Only one person wounded in the end. The important part is that I got the stun lancer corpse out of this. I will still need more than one, but we got one for the autopsy. Okay, promotions. So, Chlorf. Uh, medical protocol. Uh, yep. Okay, obviously, medical protocol. Rocky. So, I don't like Trojan. I think I'll grab that. Okay, let's take Trojan. Next, Ambrosine. Uh, she has improvised explosive and center mass so far. Oh yeah, blue screen bombs. That's really nice because you can disorient robotic units. And also reduce their hug defense. This was super useful in my last Long War of the Chosen campaign. Don't get me wrong, Tandem Warheads is good too. But blue skin bombs is just a lot of extra utility from flashbangs. And flashbangs are useful for the entire game. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but... Alright, I'm going to regret this. Because this literally saved my ass multiple times. But alright, let's get Tandem Warheads. I know for a fact I will regret not picking this though. Because the thing is... I use this with Sting Grenades, which then has a 50% chance to stun enemies for one turn. So this was a combo I used on pretty much every single Grenadier I had in my 2021 campaign, Blood Skin Bombs and Sting Grenades. It was an insanely good combo. It literally saved my missions multiple times. Like, m literally multiple times. During enemy turns, fire your arc thrower at any visible enemy within four tiles that moves or fires. Eh. Nah. Eh, right, suppressive fire. Fire a standard shot. If the shot does not kill the target, then suppress them. Eh, I kind of like that. And we have mayhem on him as well, so that's a good combo. Alright, what did we get exactly? We got two sector corpses, five trooper corpses, one lancer corpse, dualist corpse, two salatid corpses, and one pathfinder corpse. Uh, 39 supplies, 9 allurium, 11 alloys. Nice. Man, I'm so glad we got the stun lancer corpse. I really struggled with stun lancer corpses the last time. Not that one single corpse will be enough, but it's a good start. So, we got the 99 supplies. I need 150 to pick up Vulture ASAP. Well, we got 11 from this. This plus 5 power bonus will actually be pretty useful. Because normally, you have to build a generator early on. I will be able to delay that generator and use one location for an actual facility. Oh, and yeah, we got one rookie. I could train as anything I want. Let me show you the full class list. Okay, how many classes is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five classes. Only twenty-five classes. What are his stats? Fifty-seven. Okay, seven health. That's the highest health on my roster. Okay, I didn't even remember you could get a rookie with 7 health. I thought 6 was max. 14 mobility. So really bad aim, but 7 health. 
What class do I want with that? Mainly researching vaccine therapy clinics. Okay, good question. I, saw firsthand. I definitely don't remember all of these classes. I need something that will work well with a low aim. Well, honestly, Shinobi would probably work pretty well. Not that Shinobi doesn't need aim, don't get me wrong, but it's a melee class, so health helps with survivability. I don't remember the details on the scrapper. Uh, he has 15, so uh, pretty decent. Yeah, look at the rookie showing off. Yeah, I don't really remember scrap. I remember it's a like a close range class, but I don't really remember if it was good or not. I don't have one though. So I guess I could grab one. Uh, Hoplite would be decent too. It's basically a tank class. Okay, so a Hoplite, if I remember right, uh, has an ability, a shield wall type ability, uh, which allows other members of the group to use him as cover. It's basically a class with a shield. I think that would work best on somebody with 7 base health and the crap aim. Yeah, okay, I think he'll make a pretty good hoplite, actually. Let's go with that. Yep, okay, let's go with that. Now, I, I want to start training some officers soon. Infantry would be a decent one. Because of light em up. My grenadier would probably be okay, too. But yeah, I want to get started on that as soon as possible. Gorilla Tactics School facility upgraded. Uh, let's go with Cookies. Yeah, Dragon would be good, too. But Cookies is already a sergeant. I mean, we'll have more than one in the long run, obviously. Okay, Cookies can be one officer. Cookies for everyone! Alright, this will give us 45 alloys. I mean, supplies. And we're almost done with the laser weapons here. And where were we? Right, scanning in Eastern Europe. Okay, there's the... Uh, skirmisher. Okay. I can't get the Templar yet, I don't have a Staff Sergeant. Oh, nice! We can rescue Rogue Operative, nice! This is one of my favorite Long War of the Chosen mods. I love this mod. So we're definitely doing this. Okay, no failure risk. Only 9% ambush. We could pay 25 intel to negate ambush chance, but... 25 intel is a bit too much. I don't think I'm gonna do that. With that said, I can send lower rank people because there's no failure chance. We can send a shiv. I could technically hire a rookie and send a rookie. But I really need 150 supplies ASAP. And we can send a miso. Okay, let's send a miso. That's fine. Okay, let's go. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. There we go. Laser weapons. And we got a laser rifle as part of it. Right, so now... Now I could get started on magnetic weapons, which is 18 days. Advanced laser weapons would take 7 days. Which is quick. But it's definitely a valid strategy to just skip laser weapons and go directly for magnetic. I mostly did it right now because it got inspired and only took 4 days. We could do the Salatid Autopsy to unlock the hybrid sword tech. That's 4 days. Yeah, there's the uh, Lancer Autopsy. It's kind of a tough one. I guess since we got fast laser weapons, it probably makes sense to get advanced laser weapons. It's still an upgrade. It's still an upgrade, and it's only 7 days. Illogical fix the underbarrel that was quick. Yeah, that was quick. Okay, battle scanners 2 days left. I need a jailbreak in Eastern Europe to get more than 4 people in here. 
Tell me that's it. Uh, that is not it, but this is also good. A concealed start. Right, this is the C's resource cache mission. This is the mission I was thinking about earlier. Is Jen Kelly still wounded? No. Oh yeah, let's check uh, the promotions here. Uh, right, so... Justice... Justice is a bit too useful to not pick up. He'll need Sergeant ASAP to get combat presence. After throwing or launching a grenade, he will automatically enter Overwatch. When fired upon, gain one extra action on the next turn. Triggers no more than once per turn. Attacks against you suffer minus 15 penalty to critical hit chances. Well, the thing is, you can't really control who Advent is going to shoot. Depending on what cover you use. Wrath is definitely not bad, but a little bit more situational than Justice. What else does he have? Blinding Fire. Survival Instinct. When a group of enemies is revealed, gain an action. <laughs> okay. Phantom. Yeah, I don't know. I like extra actions, don't get me wrong. Alright, I guess I'll take Reflex then. You can kind of, sort of, control this. Depending on who uses what cover. What was this again? Uh, right, supplies. What about some bones? Oh yeah, Bob. Where's Bob? Let's grab Bob. Uh, Bob and Greg. They're buddies. They dynamic duo. Who else? 9.0 with Bob. Yeah, Bob is popular. And then 4.1 is the next one. And that's pretty bad. Does Greg have any better options? Or any other options? Kind of? Long Strider. Okay. Anyone close to some promotions? Sort of. Tarkin, where's Tarkin? Uh, I'm not seeing him. Oh yeah, he's up here, wounded. Okay, this looks fine to me. Alloy sword. Right, we did get one laser rifle. For the research. And as tempting as it is to make a bunch, I really, really need 150 supplies ASAP to pick up Vulture. It will pay for itself in the long run but I do have to spend 150 supplies to get it in the first place. Who's going to use the laser rifle here? Oh yeah, what I need is another alloy sword, actually. Those are cheap, I guess. Five supplies, one alloy. I guess that's cheap enough. Okay, that's cheap enough. Any PCS? Yeah, quite a few, actually. And I need to think about those. I will probably use emergency life support on an officer. Because losing a high rank officer really sucks. It really, really sucks if that happens. Okay, I don't want three people with shotguns. So... Well, I guess Bob could use a laser rifle. And Greg could use a sniper rifle. His aim is pretty good. I mean, I did take, take under on him. Doesn't mean he can't use a sniper rifle for one mission. But I don't have stock for it, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't have stock for it. That kind of sucks. This is not the best squad ever. I might have to replace Bob and Greg here. Okay, Ambrosine does have center mass, so it kind of makes sense to give her the laser rifle. Here you go. That definitely makes sense. Looks mostly fine now. Okay, well, this looks fine. Don't get me wrong, it's a pretty easy mission. But I do want to get as many supplies as possible. How much for laser weapons again? 
Yeah, I mean, they're not expensive, but I seriously need 150 as soon as possible. It will pay for itself in the long run. I just need that initial investment. So I'm not willing to spend too much on weapons right now. Unless I have a very good reason to do it. Okay, let's go. Give me a jailbreak. Uh, Ferito Intel. I think I might pass on that one. I like Intel, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Let's actually check the black market, yeah. Market is open. Uh, nothing useful here for me right now. I'm not selling meld because that's needed for mech troopers. I don't think I want to sell combat awareness. No, that's actually good, especially for some classes. Setting course for Sector 6, Eastern Europe. Where's the battle scanner? Oh no, I'm about to spend more supplies. Yep. Okay, alloy plating. Alloy plating is nice. We could open the crate. That will cost me 10 supplies. All right, let's open the crate. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Give me jailbreak. Uh, liberation. Four days, 11 hours. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. At least I don't think so. Well, if I spend the intel to boost it, then I could. I would definitely have to spend intel to boost it. Okay, actually, this might be enough for today, because I just noticed we're at 7 hours 40 minutes, and I'm actually getting pretty tired. But yeah, this is going pretty well so far, I would say. Thanks for coming, everyone. I really uh, appreciate you hanging out with me. And uh, yeah, we'll, I'll see you next time, probably around the same time as usual. But yeah, see you again soon. Thanks for coming.